everyone, so I really wanted to film the October favourites. Um, we're halfway in November now, so it seems a little bit ridiculous that I'm filming this, but it just seemed a really interesting YouTube video that everyone else was uploading, so I thought that I would try it and for a change. So, first of all, I'm going to start with um, what my clothes and stuff that I wear. <coughs> Excuse me, I still have my cold if you hear me a little bit. Yeah. This is my coat that I'm obsessing over. It's Weirdfish. I don't know if any of you know what Weirdfish is, but it's quite an expensive make. And um, I actually picked this up in a charity shop for £3.50. That was a really, really good price. Um, it says Weirdfish on the bum. On the back, I mean, at the bottom, not on the bum. But this is like a raincoat. Um, it's really handy for when I need it in the in the rain, in the wet, which isn't very nice. I also have another coat, which I have been wearing more than the Weirdfish one since um, since I bought the Weirdfish one. I wore that for ages, like three weeks in a row, and now I'm starting to wear this one again. Which, I got this from Sports Direct, and this was nearly £40, so it was really worth it, and I think I should wear this more than the weird fish, weird fish one, because it's more expensive, and I think it will last longer, but then again, I'm not sure, because the weird fish one is a really, 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 really good make, and this is by, um, Carry More, Car Carry, I don't really know, but... You, you, you can tell what the make is as soon as you see it, or I did anyway, and it's just basically... A nice, you could choose what colour, I chose the purple one and the black and you could just, it's, the logo's there. It's just a really nice big thick chunky coat for when it's a horrible cold and wet, especially when it's snowing. But the next thing I've been wearing on me when I'm out, etc, is, excuse the things that come here, the rubbish that comes out of my bag, but here's my handbag. I've been obsessing over this bag and I just think it's really light and just easy to put over me if I ever needed it just to put out to the shop. So I love that. Oh, my nanny has a little bit of sellotape on the step yesterday from when she unwrapped her presents and I'm pleased she's pleased with them but I just found it near my shoes. I just give it away. My shoes are next and these are from New Look and I've shown you these before. You could tell they're fairly filthy on the back because I've been wearing these ever since I brought them. To start with they really hurt my feet but all shoes do. Um, it's only cost me £7 um, from, from the new look and these just got the Hudson Hudson on them and these are just the grey laceless shoes. Um, everyone says to me where are the laces? That really really annoys me because it's obvious that's the fashion. Everybody wears them without laces. But these are just in grey and I'm just obsessing over them so I love them. But these are the wide fit and it, you're probably not even interested what size they are and if they are actually a wide fit or a small fit. But these are size 8 and I can fit in a size 9. So these are size 8 wide fit and they fit me really well and they don't even hurt my feet anymore. So I love them. I'm just going to chuck them on the floor. Um, next thing... It's really random, but I have been obsessing over this in my favourites, which is this little tiny cute makeup bag. Um, I think it was from Pe this was from Peacocks, and it's just got waterproof pink lining inside, and it's blue and pink, and I love it. And I usually keep my things in it, my makeup stuff in it. On to products, not products, yes, products. Um, is this and th you saw this in my video I filmed about I don't remember what it was called but you've seen this before I think I filmed it yesterday so it's obviously on the recent one that I filmed yesterday this is the Carnier you know ultra dry wear hour protection and it lasts for ages I, I actually prefer these to the sprays the sprays aren't so nice and they don't work so well so I, I've always chosen one of these unless I haven't got much to spend so I just have to go for the sprays because they're a little bit cheaper but I, I do prefer these if I have got a pound or two more to spend on one then I would just actually choose this so that's the one that I would choose if I had to next are really random but these are just the cotton wool buds that are really handy for like taking your makeup off your nail varnish which 
mine all chipped and come off, so I need to do that again. Next, on to makeup. No. Yes, I got just want a couple of random things that to do with makeup, so I'll quickly show you these. This is just like a lipstick, and this is from Collection 2000. And they've actually all just now gone into one that's called Collection, not 2000, but this has just got their little logo on it. And this is in one. I can't really see the name because the light is really, really weird in here today. Um, Forever Heather, so it sounds quite cute and we will be able to see if it's likes to focus. But this is um, quite pretty and I'll just quickly show you the colour. The colour. Actually, no, I'm not going to do swatches because when I do swatches, I always like, I was on my hand for absolutely ages. But it's like this and it's a really, really pretty colour. And it's cute. So that Forever Heather lipsticks are cute in Collection 2000. Next is just on to the all sorts things that you would maybe put on. Uh, oh no, 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 Saying that I've got more makeup. I found more makeup. I have more makeup here to show you. Is this mascara. I'm wearing this mascara now, but you can't really see too much of it because I didn't really want to put a lot on because... I'm uh, not really, I'm at home today and there's no point in putting any, like, uh, major amount of makeup on since I'm not going to go out anywhere apart from later tonight, um, or later in the afternoon. No, I'm not. I'm going out late in the afternoon tomorrow. So, a whole day by myself in between doing my schoolwork and my YouTube videos and then I'm out looking at things shopping and cars tomorrow so that'd be very fun i do like looking at cars because it makes me happy um i'm not too sure why but i just love cars um yeah the cars for my mum and dad because we're getting a new one we're seeing a few that we're gonna look at tomorrow so that was a random thing added into my favorites because it is one of my favorite things which is random we never even knew that but you do know this is my mascara stick wand thing you won't believe this, but this is from Collection 2000, but it's from Poundland. Only cost me a pound, so obviously. But if you went anywhere else, this would cost you a handful more pounds. So I actually love, love, love this since it was from Poundland. It's even, it's even more of my f favourite things because it's from Poundland, and I'm just obsessing over Poundland's makeup beauty products. Um, and iPhone cases, that's just amazing, the iPhone cases they do. Sometimes they do some really, really amazing ones. And I can't get out of there because they're just amazing. So I'm like in front of them, the age is like staring at them. Uh, and I never pick them up, I just stare at them because they're just so sweet and cute and hope for them one of them for Christmas, even though they're only a pound. But you might as well wait because you don't know, you might get one for Christmas. So yeah, Collection 2000 and this is really, really nice. Um, the wand, uh, I'm not big fan fan of it's quite hard to apply because it's not the curly ones this is the old um old fashion type ones but now they have the curly curvy ones are the shape of your eye which i prefer but this one isn't so i'm not that big a fan of it but it's quite nice it's more it's a weird shape at the end of this one but it it seems to apply apply on my face quite nice but i would prefer the waterproof one that's from Powerland, it's in the same, not the same way, I don't know. But the, I usually have the mascara one that's from pa and the mascara one. Waterproof one, because if it ever rains and you're outside, at least it won't run down your face, is what I always think. It, 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 it never usually does, but you never know. So this is from Poundland. The next thing is a powder, and I love powders, pressed powder. Collection 2000, again, as you can tell, I love Collection 2000. I haven't got any of the collection stuff yet. That sounds really, really weird, but they have had the collection range out for ages, and I haven't even looked at the collection things yet. I've just looked at the Collection 2000, even though they're all going to be exactly the same, just the collection on. So I don't really understand it, but you can tell they've been out for a while, so they've been out for 2000. But So they've just changed the name randomly, but sorry about the light. But this is just a nice... Um, this isn't a too dark colour or a too light colour, which I like, so I'm wearing that now, but you probably can't really tell because the lighting again, and half of it's gone and I need some more. Christmas, anyone? <laughs> Just joking. Um, next is accessorise product, and I need to film the accessorise 
um, whatever it's called, collection, because I know a lot of you have filmed them, and you've got a lot of views on them, so I believe that they're quite a good YouTube video, and some people tell me I don't have a lot of views, so I'm not too sure what to do, but I need to find all my accessory, accessories, accessorised products up to do um, a YouTube video, but this is basically just in the, the purpley colour, purpley blue, with a hint of sparkle in it, which is quite cute. But this is called ultraviolet, so it's like a purpley violet colour. So they're quite sweet. Next thing is another lipstick, but this is from Natural Collection, so and it's in mo uh, Moisture Shine. So that's quite a nice peachy colour on there. And when you put it on, it looks pinky peachy, so I really like that. Um, and like I say I'm not going to be doing swatches today because it's really annoys me when it's on my hand for like a whole day. Um, it's a peachy colour, so I'm obsessing over that. Two things to do with makeup left, but they are actually together, so only one thing to do with makeup that's left. These two. You've seen these before in my previous videos, and these are by Real Techniques. And these I'm just obsessing over these because these are just you can get the small ones, the big ones, and like all. You get even smaller than this in the pack. It only cost £20, I think, for a whole pack, so it weren't too bad. And they're, they're, they're ridiculous. The brushes are just ridiculously nice. Um, this is the large one of mine. This is the little one, but she's on the side, Real Techniques, and who made them, so it's quite cute. And this one's is the same, and I love them, so... And they really last, and I've had them for ages, and they're still on... Their feet, they're still up on their feet, so they're worth. They're really worth the buy. Next thing is my perfume. My perfume is from Next for three pounds. It's in the Love Heart shape. It's called Forever Pink or something like that, or Just Pink. I don't really know, but this just um smells quite nice. So it's like pumper one, and it's nearly empty, but got a little bit left, a little bit. Yeah, that smells quite nice. Um, this is just the Love Heart shape, and it stands like that, so that's pretty cute. So I, just everything about it I like. Um, I've got to find a tissue. <laughs> tissue. Okay, that's not one of my favourites, but I need it, I'm afraid. Next thing is hairsprays. All sorts of things, but... I've got five things left, I'm going to be over ages. But basically this is the Carnier Fructisius style. fruit -is. It's actually spelt fruit is fruit is but I don't really know. But this is just like the firm hold one, it just smells like fruit, so I don't really know why. It reminds me of the name a little bit of fruit, but it's not um, what it says. But I need a little bit of hairspray, I think, my hair. It smells like fruit, so it's like... Strawberries and peaches. That's random, but it smells like strawberries and peaches. So it's quite nice, and it's just only about three, two pounds. So if it's on offer, it's only a pound. I got this for a pound from Tesco on offer, so that was actually worth the buy. Everything it does, I like. So next is um, my dry shampoo, and I have filmed each of you about my dry shampoo and how I love it so much. But this is one of them, and this is a hint of colour, light and blonde. And it, my hair looks not that colour, but it's actually blonde. I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually blonde, and I've never ever put any hair. It's horrible, Yankee, Yankee yucky tie in it yet i'm not saying yucky because it's horrible but i just wouldn't put it in my hair because I, I really i really love my hair color i probably never ever change it unless i i, I do like the color red in the hair but that's just me so i've sent other people with it so you never know when i'm old i could do that but yeah keep an eye on my youtube just in case you never know one day i might but this is just basically the light blonde and quite large and Two pounds, three pounds, not too bad a price. Next is Chaudson's face care, and that always reminds me of the toddler products because that's always made from Johnson's. This little tub, and um, this certainly isn't from Poundland. If it was, then they wouldn't all still be in there. If they were in Poundland, I would actually be out right now going to buy some. But this is just like a cream, and this is in this really pretty little 
tub. It's actually glass. So, yeah, that won't anyone on the door. But it's nearly empty, so we need to buy a new one or maybe buy my sister a new one because then I know I'll share. I'll just be able to share it with her. But this is basically what a heavy little thing. And it's just really sweet, like a little soft thing for your face. It moisturises 24 hours a day, so whatever you like during the day. <laughs> In the morning or at night is usually the time, though. Ambre nail polish remover. I'm not too sure where it's from, but I've been using this a lot, and it's just one of my favourites at the moment. Nivea Soft Hands, Face, and Your Body. So I like that. Let you get this out of Poundland, and quite nice. This is from Poundland as well. It's a little. It's a fake version of the whatever that make is, the Apricot make, and this is actually smells lovely and it's for normal oily skin so it's all that weird like texture stuff in it again like the little brown things which isn't so nice but that's what it's for it helps it smells like apricots i love it so that's why it's in my favorites anyway that's everything i hope you enjoyed my video i know that the video won't even take it this long because it won't let me it only lets me get up to about 30 but it's still because of my voice <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. Hope you enjoy. See you soon. Bye.